So Outriders has been out a little over a month now. Today we talk about the stay in which the game is in one month later. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a video. So Outriders wasn't the most hyped up game in the world and to be honest I believe it even within the demo showed many people were actually sleeping on it. The demo was in reality fantastic for the most part and it brought in for PCF way more players than expected. I believe from this realisation they knew they had something big and great on their hands, which is true. Outriders is a game many of us needed coming off the backs of other looter shooters. The demo offered more or less everything we loved about looter shooters, so the expectation of the full game once the demo had been farmed for millions of hours was pretty high. So the game came out. And now we're a month in. And well, to say things haven't gone as expected would be blind ignorant. And I don't say this in a positive manner. And although in terms of the full game offering what the demo offered just 100 times over, this is more or less what Outriders is. It's a loot shoot which upon release has four very different customizable classes which results in utterly tons of different builds. When you include the millions of mug combinations to assist said builds to make them vary from one another, then we add on the weapons. And what we have is a game when compared to other looter shooters on the market, right now in terms of building, looting and satisfying the player base on day one, I can't really think of many other games that have done that. But from there it's kind of gone a little downhill because as a few of us have expected, with how popular the game is, the more so popular are its problems. And this game's problems right now really overshadow what's still a great game and what's actually still great about the game. And I'd argue for the most part, rightly so. Outriders has suffered since release with major server issues, connectivity issues, multiplayer issues, bugs, glitches, you name it, Outriders has them. Now is this top of the list in terms of broken releases? Oh F no, this isn't even anywhere near top 10. But again, because of how big the game quickly become, its problems became even bigger. Because it's seen as a competitor to other major loot shooters out there, the even more so bigger its problems will become for people to try and knock it off its pedestal. Now in terms of its developers, People Can Fly, who are obviously taking the brunt and again rightly so, I do feel they are trying their best to rectify the many problems the game has. We have seen back-end maintenance, patches, hotfixes, you name it, they have tried to fix it. The one major issue it seems the game has is its character wiping. There's a bug that happens and you lose your character class, to a point for many people as to you can't even get back onto that character. This is a problem they have spoke about hundreds of times and how about a fix will eventually come. But it is clear they are having issues with this bug and right now they can't seem to cement a fix in place. It's why we got the latest patch before the inventory restorations, which wasn't the plan at first. So as I make this video, the inventory restoration process still isn't here. So what about the latest patch? Did it fix any of the issues people were having? Well firstly, I truly believe right now the game is 100 times more stable. No, it is not perfect, but in terms of connectivity, crossplay and playing with friends, I feel it's a ton better than what it was pre-patch. But there are still problems here. Post patch, I've been dashboarded at the end of an expedition as I've just completed it. I've lost connections to other hosts, I've experienced lag, I've had bugs with abilities and I, like many, have experienced what seems to be a random one hit from a boss or an enemy who has no right in doing so. But I will still say it is miles better than what it was. So it's definitely under up and some things are clearly working. Now with a massive patch like this, which I believe was around 3 or 4 gig on last gen, I'm pretty sure on the Xbox Series X it was around 17 gigabytes. I'm not sure about PlayStation 5 or the PC though. But with a patch this big which sorts out so many issues or claims to sort out so many issues, it will bring obvious of issues. And it has. I wouldn't say that anything it has brought is stopping me from playing and enjoying the game. Like pre-patch, I mean the issues pre-patch for me were abysmal. Right now I feel the game is much much better, but still again, it isn't anywhere near perfect. So Outriders a month in, it's definitely in its best state, but a state nowhere near 100%. But this isn't now the problem for most, as most people can play it now and enjoy it. The problem is, most people now are feeling burnt out doing the same things over and over. And this alone amplifies tensions in terms of feeling and reporting on the problems even more so. I've seen it with content creators too. At first when the game launches, 
Everyone's happy, numbers are high, money is high, subs are high, likes are high. But as the game goes on and more people play and play and play and play and burn themselves out, they want new content, they amplify the problems because they're enjoying it as much as they did, that's when things start to get a little hostile and people start turning on each other and the game. I've seen content creators turn on each other. I've seen content creators bashing other content creators. I've even saw a content creator bash me, which to me is no problem at all. I mean, I've been in the game for a long, long time now. It's all to be expected. But with this and the more players are feeling burnt out, the more they look at and play the game in a negative manner, picking up more so on the problems. And I myself, I won't lie, although I ain't even burnt out, I am definitely guilty of doing this. And I hold my hands up to it. As when a game you eventually loved playing and farming eventually runs dry and runs out of things to do, 50% of the community will put the game down and play other games while waiting for new stuff, while the other 50% will continue playing but bash the game because of that lack of content. And I see this and I've seen it with many, many other games. More or less every other game I've played. And it's something I've learned and it's why I take my time playing said kind of games. I still right now only have a trickster at max level, yet I'm still missing class specific legendaries on my trickster. I'm still searching for certain tier 3 mods, and for this reason alone I'm still enjoying playing and farming the game. But if you've played 6-700 hours, have every character maxed out and have every legendary in the game and then continue to bash the game due to lack of content, maybe you should go outside and breathe in some fresh air. And I don't mean this in a negative way, I mean this in a healthy way. Yes for sure, I feel this game could do more content sometime soon, but that isn't a reality in my opinion. This game I don't feel will see new content for months yet. I hope I'm wrong, we all hope I'm wrong, but I just don't see it happening anytime soon. And no doubt plans of future content would be currently paused while the game is being fixed. I'm pretty sure they don't want to drop content into a game which has so many problems just for it to cause more work for themselves. And it's why we haven't had any confirmation of DLCs that are in the works. We haven't had any kind of roadmap and we won't likely do so for ages. Not a roadmap anyway, which puts dates in place. I mean, we may see a roadmap of vague dates like we did with Cyberpunk, but nothing set in stone. Outrider surprised people can fly with its popularity. I doubt they even had DLC planned in the blueprints for this game at release. I feel it was meant to be a one and done. But because of how popular it is, I do now feel they know there is money to be made here. But only time will tell with this. But right now guys, one month in, Outriders is about 65% there. As soon as those inventories get restored for thousands of players who had the bug, that percentage will probably jump up to around 85%. And from there, work needs to be done on the remaining and new bugs. And even more so, and connectivity and stability. But in terms of a new player jumping in right now, I'd say definitely go for it. And you will most probably for the most part enjoy the game. It is the kind of game you are thinking it is if it got your attention, where you heard it was similar to other games like The Division, Death Stone, Warframe. It is that kind of game, it is that kind of loot shooter, it is that kind of end game. But yes guys, to stay at the game one month later, it isn't the best it can be, but it's definitely a lot better than what it was. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.